Hello everyone, I am Dolmio007 and welcome to my channel Games Are Us. In my videos descriptions you can find links to my streaming channel on Twitch as well as Discord server link and Facebook fan page. So guys, let the games begin! Welcome back to Sinoc uh, walkthrough. I've got second part for you today. I'm going to quickly show you here down south. I mentioned in the first video there's an underground man that can speak to to actually get you to uh, Sinoc underground. And then just up here you got the Underbro uh, mine that you can mine dark, uh, pale and prism gems if you wanted to. Uh, so let's quickly, uh, obviously to get into underground, uh, Sinuk underground, you need level 50 mining. So just be aware of that because otherwise you will not get in. So now let's get quickly, get you to the uh, next uh, gym. So don't forget to subscribe if you like the content as well. So you don't miss out on anything and let's do this. So you have to go back through the cave as the way you came in. Then we're going to have to go all the way back to uh, Jubilee. Um, to, to Jubilee Town, uh, Jubilee City basically, and then we have to go up north here uh, in order to get to the next gym. So let's see what's happening then. Um, you're gonna have a few different uh, type of Pokemon available, uh, not much different than what you already had, uh, but there is a few. Um, this is just a quick passage through, so it's not even a proper cave, just keep going through that way. I'm trying to avoid all the fighting against NPCs. It's mainly grass Pokemon around here, so anything to do with uh, poison, ice, fire, you know, all the super effective moves that you can have against grass Pokemon, that will come quite handy. Or even just Gallardos with the Ice Fang, it's pretty sufficient. So, quick heal on the way up. Uh, we go to the next town, but there is no gym in this town, unfortunately. So uh, we have to get to the Eterna city. So as you can see, there's not much going on here. You've got a shop, but you're going to have to go to the right hand side uh, to get further to the uh, Eterna, to the next uh, city with the gym. There is obviously, as you know, always a certain order of doing those. I'm trying to avoid those NPCs. I'm trying not to show you any... Uh, battles against them so this is not a too long video for you guys i want to get there uh, as much and as quick as possible uh, just quickly show you uh, maybe what pokemon you can get i sort of forgot to show you on the way earlier but again when you're walking by all you gotta do is just type in slash pokemon you can check it for yourselves guys uh, but there we go uh, yeah, another NPC avoided. Now we're going to have to go to the Eterna Forest. And uh, now there's one more thing here. I want to show you where the old chateau is. Uh, and it is in this forest, basically. Uh, so like you see, I'm trying to go and go around every NPC as much as I can. Uh, but then it doesn't always possible. Sometimes you will get stopped and you're going to have to fight. Uh, but there you go, quick uh, repel just so I have a bit of a uh, peace of mind. Uh, again, trying to avoid the NPCs. So first I'm going to show you the old chateau and then I'm going to show you how to get to uh, Eterna. And how to defeat the next gym leader and get yourself a yet another badge. So the next badge basically is going to be a forest badge. A grass Pokemon again, like I mentioned earlier, on the example of NPCs, uh, just get yourself some. Like you still got a cloister with you, or even Gallardos with Ice Fang, uh, maybe um, Megazone, uh, Magnezone with the Hidden Power Fire, or any other Fire Pokemon. Anything like that will come handy to help you uh, with those Pokemon. If your Gengar is fairly good level. And the poison move like a slash bomb is quite effective on grass Pokemon. But there it is. There it is. The uh, old Chateau. Uh, so you have quickly, you can see Cypher and Heracross and Markro outside the old Chateau. And here you can get a very important Pokemon like Rotom. You can get Litwick. So you can get Chandelier at the very end. Uh, so there is a quite interesting Pokemon in old Chateau for you to hunt if you desire so. But let's go back now. And let's get to that gym. Let's defeat the next gym leader, Gardenia. And then we can get our claim, our forest badge. 
And before we can do that, there's going to be a few NPCs in the gym. Not too difficult. Just don't forget to go and heal yourself each time you do that. Uh, as you can see, I can, I'm trying to avoid another NPC just so it's a little bit faster. But this is it pretty much. Uh, just go up north here. Um, I got a little bit confused here, but basically you have to go up north here. And then to the right. And Eterna is just there. So, quick heal. Again, I had a bit of... Uh, I had a bit of... Uh, um, losses in HP as I was getting there. Unfortunately. My Pokemon are ah, fairly low level, but it's enough for what it is. It doesn't have to be much higher. Uh, there we go. Let's heal myself. The gym is right at the bottom here in town. So there's not really much going on around here. There's a shop on the right hand side as you go down. There you go. And then you're going to have the gym right at the bottom. And let's go in and let's just do it. Uh, no point waiting. I always defeat all NPCs, so I go left, I go right. It always gives you extra experience, it gives you extra money, so I don't see a reason why not, because fighting against NPCs always will give you more money, more experience than fighting any other um, wild Pokemon. So it's always worth it to do it. So there we go, we got Lily. Uh, at the moment I'm using my Magnezone with the uh, uh, Hidden Power Fire move. It's not as effective on the Ludiculo because he's sort of like a grass water Pokemon and technically none of movesets of my Magnezone is fully effect super effective on them. But it doesn't really matter, he should deal with him fairly easy. Then we have yet another Pokemon that I can do now, my fire move, even though I didn't actually quite kill him. There's a quite a few NPCs here, but because it's a gym... But because it's a gym NPCs, I'm going to show those fights to you guys. If you don't fancy watching them, you can just sort of go ahead and rewind a little bit if you like to the actual gym leader. If you uh, can't wait for that action. But again, we have Megan now. And I'm going to keep using my hidden power. Uh, as you can see, I suffered a little bit here. But it wasn't much of a blow. Even if I lose my Magnezone, I can easily go and defeat a few more NPCs using other Pokemon that I have uh, with ease. And then, as always, as I always say, got a bit of a problem, go back, heal yourself in the Pocket Center, come back and just go and do the rest of them. Uh, so you don't have to struggle. And then, obviously, always remember to heal yourself if you have any HP damage before you go and fight the uh, Gym Leaders. Because, like I said, otherwise, you're just sort of going to waste a bit of the time. Maybe not too much, but still, you have to wait uh, for that 9-10 minutes to fight the gym leader again, or is it 8? But there we go, another another one defeated. So we have another 3 or 4, I think. So there's a, quite a few here, which I find it actually quite good. Because, like I said, I like doing that, because I like getting that money and I like getting that experience. Especially if you have a premium account. Uh, which I've got gold membership at this time of making a video, so that's all good. That's all Christy. It's always nice to uh, it's always nice to top up a little bit and you know stock up as well. So we got Melissa, uh, which I am at the moment dealing with uh, with the cloister because uh, I've already lost my Magnezone. Uh, but unfortunately, as you can see, I lost my cloister as well. So. Like I said, it might be always worth going heal yourself every now and then. I'm not going to lose here though, by the way, don't get me wrong. It's just uh, it's just I'm going to lose a few Pokemon. And I will go and heal myself. Of course, you're not going to see this because it's pointless, uh, me showing you this. And I think after that, there is two more NPCs uh, to defeat. Gengar always comes uh, quite uh, handy, uh, it's a uh, destiny bond ability, it's always very handy to have because it can get you out of some trouble sometimes or you have a troublesome opponent. Uh, Gengar is fairly quick Pokemon so most of the time you will uh, do your destiny bond first before they manage to make a move and that way you can surprise them. Just make you have to make sure that the Pokemon that is on the other side will kill you in one move because otherwise 
you'll end up being like low on HP and if you try the destiny bone second time it's not gonna work unfortunately so you either have to switch it out again and try it again on the next round or simply um, just attack at that point but there we go we had a uh, Sammy which is basically defeated now and there is one more that we wanna that we're gonna have to defeat and then we can fight Gardenia and then get our forest badge so there it is Joanna another three Pokemon to defeat which should be fairly easy anyway uh, I think my Gallardos actually will level up after this battle so uh, luckily I won't have to go and heal myself because well, obviously as you know when you level up your HP will go back to 100% uh, so it done me a bit of a favor before the uh, Gardenia uh, the gym leader so there we go one more Pokemon left and finally we're gonna go for that badge there we go Ice Fang I know that Ice Fang is not fully accurate all the time but I don't know for some reason for me he actually goes in most of the time so uh, maybe I'm just more lucky lucky than others but I hope uh, it should be going in most of the time anyways like 80% accurate so technically it shouldn't be missing that often it does happen don't get me wrong uh, but there we go we got Gardenia and I'm starting to set up so I do my one dragon dance to start with just to get an extra attack and an extra speed so nothing outspeeds me and I'm gonna keep uh, topping up so now moxie ability this plus two attack and i'm keep gonna use my super effective moves that is ice fang and hope for the best that i'm actually not gonna miss but then i've got other pokemon in support anyway that are ice pokemon or with moves like hidden power fire so like i said poison is quite good against grass pokemon as well so now uh, plus four attack uh, we have uh, Tangela, there we go, one um, is actually quite lucky as well because it was critical hit. I'm not sure if otherwise he would have actually died to be honest. My Gallardos is not very strong, but if you guys have attack plus 25 plus, then you should have no problems anyway. That's why I'm using a uh, muscle band on mine, just to top up a little bit on that attack, 20% extra. And there we go, my Gallardos finally did die. But he managed to get me all the way to the f uh, last Pokemon. And now I went for Destiny Bond uh, against uh, Mega Venazaur. Because otherwise I probably would have had some trouble. And there you go. I tricked him there a little bit. And Forest Badge is mine. And hopefully yours as well, guys. So um, I hope it wasn't too bad for you guys. You know, uh, Sinok is not as bad as you think. As long as you know... Um, as long as you know what super what super effective against what then it should be all fine uh, so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, good luck guys i hope you're going through sinok with no problems and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content you don't want to miss out any new videos and take care for now and have fun playing guys see you in the next one